Okay, but so we are going to learn how to divide the given quantity in the given ratio. If you look at these questions uh, from 13 onwards, so it says divide this $40 in the ratio three, ratio five. So you basically when it has to be divided into three ratio five, so you have to see that how many uh, kind of shares we have over here. This is three shares and there are five shares. Like when you divide this whole into, um, like suppose if there's one, there was one thing and you, were, you wanted to divide that into two parts. So if this is the person A and then there's a person B, he's going to get three shares. He's, he's going to get five shares out of what? So that is going to be, uh, you see, this A is going to get three over eight and this B is going to get five over eight. Because if you add three over eight and five over eight, you get one. So that means one whole is being divided into these two people in the ratio three, ratio five. So um, in a way you have to see that how many uh, shares there are and who has more shares. So this is three, ratio five. So clearly A has less number of shares, smaller number of shares, B has a greater number of shares. So this A is going to have three by eight of whatever is being divided. B is going to have five over eight of whatever going to be divided. Like in this case, we have this 40 being divided in the ratio three, ratio five. So the one who has the uh, this three uh, in, its, in his part, he's going to get three by eight of this 40. So this is three <clears> over <throat> eight of means times 40. So that is going to be eight times five and five threes are 15. So this person will get uh, $15. This A will be getting $15. You can subtract 15 from um, 40. That is going to be $25. Or you can calculate this as five by eight of this 48 fives are, this is five times five. That is going to be $40, I mean, $25, okay? Look at this, uh, uh, for example, this um, uh, 17th question. It says uh, we have to divide 180 gram, kilograms in the ratio of one, ratio of five, ratio of six. So let me call this, this is going to be A, ratio B, ratio C. These are the three people who are going to share this 180 uh, kilograms. So that is going to be one, ratio of five, ratio of six. So how many shares do we have? There are going to be 12 shares, okay? So this A will have one by 12 of whatever you have. This B will have five by 12 of whatever you have. And C will have six by 12 of, of whatever the quantity you have, okay? So that is how you have um, these shares as A is going to have one by 12 of 180. B will have uh, five by 12 of 180 and C will have six by 12 of 180. Uh, in these uh, questions like 20 and 21, you see a quantity is being divided amongst, distributed among four different um, objects or persons over here. It says divide 180 kilogram in the ratio one, ratio two, ratio three, ratio four. So again, you have to see that if let me, if I write this as, um, uh, there is there are four people a ratio b ratio c ratio this d so this is one ratio two ratio three ratio four so add all of them you have uh, the sum is ten so that means a is going to have one by ten of the whole b will have two by ten three three c will have three by ten and d will have the fourth ten four tenth of the whole quantity. Okay, so you can calculate it like this. Uh, the share of A is going to be one tenth of this 180. B will have um, two tenth of this 180. And similarly, C will have three tenth of 180. And D will have four tenth of this 180. Okay, you, you can try all these questions. You can try. Uh, uh, like uh, 13 onwards, you can go up to the question number 25. Uh, this this looks to be very interesting, this 22nd question. If five over eight of the children in a school are boys, what is the ratio of boys to girls? 
So who would like to answer this question? Five over eight of the children in a school are boys. What is the ratio of boys to girls? Yes, anyone? Five ratio three. Sir, five ratio eight. Five ratio three, beta. It says five over eight of the children. Hmm? It, they are boys. That means the girls are going to be three by eight of the whole school, hai na? So if we talk about the ratio between the boys and girls, so that has to be five ratio three. Okay? How do we know it's supposed to be five ratio three, like by three? Look at this, it says, for example, if I say, uh, if I say that suppose uh, we're going to share a, a, an amount between us, okay? And I say that, okay, I'm going to get uh, three by five of, let's say, whatever we have the amount, okay? This is my share. This is your teacher's share. And then there are the students. The students will have, what will, what should I write here of this? Hmm? If the teacher is getting three fifth of the whole, the students will be getting what? What should I write here? Hmm. Shouldn't this be two by five? Hmm. Yes, sir. Because if one person is getting three by five, the other would be having one minus three by five. So that would be two by five. So similarly, if five by eight of the whole school, these are the boys, okay? Then the girls should be three by eight of the whole. So therefore, the ratio between the boys and the girls is going to be 5 ratio 3. Like here, the ratio in this case has to be 3 ratio 3. Okay.